हेलो वेलकम बैक टू एन अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ बी सी सी ब्रॉडकास्ट सो माई नेम इज अमरनाथ मिश्रा एंड आई वॉर्मली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल दैट इज ब्लू क्रेस्ट कॉलेज बी सी सी ब्रॉडकास्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज ऑडिटिंग सी जनरली वॉट एप एन एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिक्वायर्ड ऑडिटिंग now this auditing is basically the system and server auditing the lot of services are running in the system because it handles it manage lot of services lot of configurations so when we configure the services lot of process is running there maybe some process gets stuck up the issue can happen so to identify with the help of log files in the security tab we configure the auditing with the help of group policy now within the group policy we have the audit policy also with the help of policy we find out that which are the successful audit and which are the failure audit for the configuration of audit policies auditing of computer services first we need to check the connectivity of the system so we'll ping here so ping 10.0.0.1 and we can see that the node is responding very well we'll also ping to the another node that is 10.0.0.2 and we can see that the node 2 is also responding very well so now we will take the remote connection that is remote control it is 10.0.0.2 and we'll provide the password so successfully we have taken the remote session now we need to log in to the server node that is contoso slash adam and we'll provide the password so you can see that server manager is loading so dashboard is getting ready so server is ready now dashboard is ready now so we'll move to the cloud system we'll start the server to take the to take the audit so we'll start com uh, server so server is getting ready so we'll log into the server for the audit configuration so here we'll log in with the administrator we we'll put the credential of the administrator we will log into the server so that we can configure so administrator so now we can see that the server manager is getting ready the dashboard is getting ready so we'll configure the audit policy right now so we'll go to the configuration first so we'll go to the tools we'll configure first the password for the administrator so we'll go to the active directory users and computers we'll go to administrator properties account apply apply okay so we'll reset the password so 
so we have reset the password so now we have two user here already that is d1 and d2 we are going to create the folder on d1 d2 and we will check that d1 d2 has the folder so now we'll try to restrict the permission so we'll go to the properties we'll go to d1 and we'll go to security for d1 we'll edit the permission advance we'll edit the permission first so we'll go to edit we we'll give full control to the d1 apply and we'll add d2 we'll go to advance we'll find now that is d2 when we come to the d2 click ok and we'll deny this d2 apply it ok now we'll go to the auditing feature so d1 and d2 has added to the folder so when we come to the advance then go to auditing select user that is we have a successful audit so select the principal so we'll add advance find now we'll put d1 click ok click ok and here it will be successful audit or failure we'll put all the audit click ok we'll also add another audit that is add select advance find now we'll select d2 so here d2 is there so we'll put all successful and failure we'll click ok when it is coming to the successful and failure audit we have selected for d1 and d2 both the having the effect of the permission so let let us click apply click ok then click ok so you have seen that this is having a full permission this is having a deny permission so we'll click on ok we'll same thing we'll do for the d2 folder so right click go to the properties go to security we'll edit so for d2 it is full permission apply add and then we'll find d2 that is d1 so we'll go to d1 and we'll click ok now we'll deny the d1 because this folder belongs to d2 so d2 has full permission d1 has deny permission we'll apply it then we go to the advance when we come to the advance we'll go to the audit when we come to the audit we'll add we'll select the principles we'll advance go to advance find now we'll put d1 click ok ok then we'll put all failure and success both click ok so d1 has added we'll also add d2 select the principle advance find now now this is d2 we'll select ok click ok and we'll put the all successful and failure both we'll click ok so it has came d1 and d2 apply it we'll click ok then click ok so we have done the audit over here for the folder and permission now we have to go to the group policy so we'll close this one we'll go to the active directory users and computers and we'll go to the policy that is audit policy so now we'll go to tools server manager we'll go to tools then go to the local security policies when we come to the local security policy when we come to the local security policy then here it is a audit policy by default there is no policy is being assigned 
so if you see here account policy we have account over here so audit policy is not yet set over here so we'll go to the audit policy now here we can take the auditing of logon event right click go to the properties we'll take successful and failure audit apply it click ok we'll also check with the event that is the object access policy we'll put successful audit and failure audit we'll put apply we'll click ok so we have taken the event login object audit uh, object access account logon event also we will say so we'll say check with the successful and failure audit we'll click apply and then we'll click ok so we have done with the policy with the audit policy so we'll close this one and now we'll update the policy so we'll go to command prompt cmd and in command prompt we'll update here group policy so that is gp update slash force So policy has updated successfully. Now we'll test, we'll check with the login. So we'll move to the system that is user. We'll switch user and we'll try to log in with the D1 and D2 user. So first we'll log in with the D1 user and we'll put wrong password because system login will put that audit. So it will put the audit of failure audit. It will generate the log file for D1. Similarly, we will do for the D2. So first we will log in with the D1 and this time we will put correct password and D1 has logged in. It will try to access his object. So there we will see that successful and failure audit. So here we will go to access d1 folder and he can access the data d1 is able to access similarly it will try to do the data of d2 it will again try so it will generate the audit failure so it has not got the permission again we will log out from the d1 and we will log in with the d2 so this time we will log in with the d2 and d2 has logged in successfully so we'll see that d2 is able to access the folder or not so d2 will be able to access d2 folder because he has the permission full control but simultaneously he will not be able to access d1 folder because of permission he has don't have the permission to access but audit report will be generated so we'll log out from the D2 and we will put the wrong password so that D2 will be prompted with the audit report that is failure audit. So we will log in now with the administrator for verification. when we come when we log into the with the help of administrator we'll go to the tools we'll go to the event viewer when we come to the event viewer here it will generate the log file we'll go to the windows log Within the windows log we will go to the security and here we will find the log file. So you can see here it is generate it has generated the audit failure audit is there. So this is the audit failure and we can see the report of the audit failure. So it is basically that is it is trying to log in. So it has generated the failure audit and you can see here both the failure audit has been generated. So you can see that the time it is showing already that is as per the login so when it is generating the audit it will have the successful audit and failure audit also that is password credential 
and another features will be so here you can see that the login failure that is d2 has logged in and you can see that the authentication failed because the wrong password it has generated so d2 has created the failure audit so you can see that it has also have the information regarding the failure audit so in this way we can see that the successful audit and failure audit so system login successfully it has generated like d2 has logged in to the system successfully it has generated the log file and that is the audit file has been generated over here so we can see all the audit information reports that system has performed either system related log files we can see the audit of system audit we can also check with the user audit we can also check the object access audit like if a user does not have permission and he is trying to log in to that user document another user document the audit will capture the instance whenever he log try to log in to the system so i hope you have learned that how to configure the audit and auditing policies see with the help of policy and auditing feature we can monitor we can manage we can troubleshoot we can identify the log files with the help of log files we see the issues generated by the server automatically and we can identify that what problem has happened in which particular scenario in which situation so we can identify and troubleshoot the things we can identify the problems so if you want to learn such kind of technologies like server cloud database storage please visit blue crest college 77 wilkinson road freetown thank you